Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and this week I'm going to show you how to make this super adorable summer dress I'm wearing right here. This is such a perfect dress to wear for summer and I made it from a bed sheet I bought from Target. The cool thing is that if you have bed sheets at home already that you can upcycle, you don't have to spend any money at all unlike me. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more new videos from me and let's get started. To create my pattern, I traced a t-shirt and made it wide enough to slide over my hips. This is what my sample piece looks like. You only want to trace a little bit of the armhole. If you're unsure on how much armhole you need to keep, you can always give yourself more to work with and trim some away later. But that's why it's important to create a sample from muslin first. The length of this first piece should be as long as you want your first tier to be. I made mine end right at the bottom of my hips. My dress is going to have three tiers and the first one is part of the bodice and then I'll add two more layers below. I'm going to mark two lines on the bodice of the dress to add elastic on it so that the bodice will be a lot more fitted and scrunched up. One line is right under my bust and the next line is at my waist. This measurement will be different for everyone and you will have to try on the top to determine where you want the elastic to scrunch up the dress. Mark the two lines straight across the front and back and then sew the sides of the bodice closed. Next, we're going to stretch and sew some elastic along the top of the bodice and hem the raw edge. Elastic is still tricky to figure out how much scrunch you need. I first measure across the front of my chest and then remove about 1-2 to two inches to make it even tighter. But even after sewing the elastic, it still wasn't tight enough to hug my chest and back. Bottom line, this is going to be trial and error, especially if you didn't make a sample, to really know how much you need. After sewing the elastic across the neckline and hemming the edge, you can now stretch and sew elastic along the two rows we marked earlier. I'm sewing the elastic with a straight stitch and increased my stitch length a little bit to help the elastic stretch. To create the long sleeves, trace the sleeve of your t-shirt onto a piece of paper and slash and spread the cap so it's not so fitted on top. And for the bottom of the sleeve, you'll want to spread it out even more so it flares out to make it fuller at the bottom. This is just half of the sleeve that I am spreading and I'm going to cut it on fold to create the full sleeve pattern. Now that the sleeve is drafted, I cut two pieces out from the pillowcases by folding my pattern in half and lining it up with the edge. Which means my sleeve will have a seam on the outside from the pillowcase, but that's okay. The size of the sleeves are huge and need a lot of room, which is why I'm using the pillowcases. However, if I created short poofy sleeves, I definitely could have gotten away with only using one bed sheet for this dress. Fold both sleeves in half and sew the open side closed. Next, attach the sleeves to the armhole. There's not much armhole to even attach it to, so you're literally only sewing the sleeves along the little armhole shape.
Now we're going to stretch and sew some elastic along the top of the sleeve that is not attached to the armhole. I just measured the elastic over my shoulders and stretched it out to see how tight and comfortable I want it to be. Again, you want the elastic to be a little tighter so it can actually scrunch up and hug your body. Once the sleeves are attached, we can add the two skirt tiers. I cut really long pieces of fabric and pieced them together to fit the size of each tier. The first tier we're adding is going to need two times as much fabric as the bottom of the dress we sewed so far. So if the bottom of mine is 50 inches, I need this tier to be 100 inches long. And for the very bottom tier, it'll need to be two times as long as the last tier. So if my last tier is 100 inches, I need the bottom tier to be 200 inches long. Sew a basing stitch along the top of the first tier we're working on and gather it to fit the bottom of the dress so far. Evenly pin the gathered tier to the dress and sew it on. Repeat the same thing to the bottom tier. This was honestly the longest part of making the dress, gathering these super long layers. But I got to sit down and finish watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Hem the bottom of the skirt and lastly I'm going to finish the bottom of the sleeves by gathering it first so that it can fit the size of my elastic. Then stretch and sew the elastic around the bottom of the sleeve and hem the raw edges. And I'm finished! Here is the finished dress. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what videos you want to see next. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.